one problem I have with new software is finding out where things are and then how to use them. But it's frustrating when you can't work out where things are. So this tutorial is just really to show you where parts are to Camtasia and then you can play with it more yourself. So let's go through the different parts. We've got this part over here which is our main tools. Please note there's a more down the bottom so there's even more tools. And that audio effects for example is really important. So make sure you've had a look and, and play through all of those parts there find out what's in there each part has more so annotations is something you're going to use a lot this is an annotation here but you could use any of these tools generally what happens is you're taking something from here and then bringing it down to this bottom part uh, here's some more information about the tools and over here is even more information you see it's giving you directions to click on it when I click on it here you'll notice that more information's just popped up over here which I can now adjust this shape here media bin will have nothing in it I've already um, populated these things in here so you can have a look this has come from the library this is a visual of a movie from the library you see motion backgrounds this is a graphic that I made this is a video recording that I've made and this is a coast this is a recording that I've take, got from somewhere else so we've got four different things in here these are the main four things I record you're going to use a recording you've made yourself the graphic um, a background effect and the video and maybe a second video down the bottom here is a key bit this is when things happen so when you're using video editing software you need to think about when things are happening if you can't see something on the screen it'll mean that the playheads in the wrong place so you see it here there's nothing here so it's not showing anything so this always needs to be right over top of it so before you can see something happening so basically what we do is we bring things from here down into here we move the playhead over them and we manipulate them that's what we're doing in video editing software so this is an annotation which I've brought down into here let's bring another graphic and I'll just bring that in and drop it down in here so here there's going to be nothing so I want them to line up I'm going to move them around there I can zoom in and out from here and we can see there's this transition happening on that one so as I pull my playhead over the top you'll see one fading into the other now I can also it's the same thing with a video put that over the top and you, this is in front of and behind so as you see it at this stage it, the video is playing behind it and now that stops so the video is there these tools over here are pretty important too what you can do with the play head is pull this button out here now what you've done is you've chosen from this point to this point and you can for example say you just wanted to cut that middle bit out then you can just press that button you see it's cut it out and it's actually left a little shape in there showing you where it had cut it another thing you can do is you might want to split the track in half so then you're going to use this tool and split it in half here and here overlap them a wee bit come back like that Now another thing we can do is we can start to use some of these effects now on these clips and things that are sitting within the timeline. So a big one you're going to use a lot is transitions. So as especially when we see here when we're transitioning from one scene to another or something's happening here, I'm going to put a fade on that one. And now you'll see it one becoming transparent. So the top one goes away and the bottom one's going to show through. Okay, so there's things we can do there. We, there's lots of things, and just play around with these things here, and you'll see. So these are some quite cool effects, eh? So Camtasia, the um, jump and fall into here. And now you won't see anything happening until you play it. See, now we see it happening. It is happening, but remember time. So let's have a look. That's that jumping and dropping down in there, and then fading away. And now that effect has been added into here if you click on this little arrow you're going to see it underneath jump and fall and now we come over here we can look at more details so we've got a jump and fall as it comes in during and as it goes out so the middle and the out and we can add more and more things to it if I have a visual effect a drop shadow I want to put a drop shadow on there the other is a new thing so now I might look at the drop shadow here's the details about the drop shadow there's lots all of these things we can put into each of our clips 
so you can see it can get really, really complex. So finally, go and play. Just play around with those things. When we when we have a face-to-face -face session, we'll talk about what, what you found, what you couldn't do, any questions you might have. But remember to have a look around here, bring some things into here, drop them into the timeline, play with them over here.